Hello and welcome to another machine learning tutorial. So in the next few videos and today's video, we're going to be going through an algorithm called KNN. Now that stands for K nearest neighbors, where K is uh, any kind of integer, all right? Now they also have a nearest neighbor algorithm, which is precisely the same thing as K nearest neighbors, except uh, it's just assumed that you only have one neighbor that you're looking for. Uh, and we're going to talk about how this algorithm works and really implementing it in the next video. But in today's this video we're going to be going through collecting some uh, irregular kind of data and how we can read in data that's not in a perfect data frame already now when I say that uh, in the last video we had mostly uh, integer values as our data and we didn't have any missing values we had everything nice uh, it was set up it was in a CSV file uh, the data we're going to be using here is a bit different and there's some more manipulation we're going to have to do with that before we can use it so with that being said let's get started now the data set that I'm going to be using here is the car evaluation data set now KNN is used for classification typically now what that means is we're going to be classifying uh, some data set or some data point to a certain class. Now in this case we're trying to classify cars based on uh, a few different properties or a few different attributes here and the four different classes that we can have is unACC, ACC, good and very good. So our algorithm is going to attempt to decide on one of these four classes uh, represented between 0 and 3 based on the input that we're given. Now, I won't go in and talk too much about the data set because I've already kind of gone through what this means, but essentially you can see this just says classification here. Uh, we have a quite a few instances and six attributes for each instance. Okay, so let's go ahead and go to data folder here. And what we're going to do is we're just going to download uh, car.data. Sorry guys, just a quick side note here. If you want to follow along with the tutorial uh, and see the text-based version of this as well as all the code and resources and assets that I'm using as well as this data file here, go ahead and hop over to techwithtim.net. The link is going to be in the description down below. And on there you can see all the code that I write and uh, have all the downloads and everything in one place. Now when you click this, you should get something that looks like this. Uh, obviously you can just like copy and paste it like that if you want, or you can just right click on it and click save as pick your directory and then just save it as car.data okay so once you've done that uh, actually i'll leave this window open in case you want to come back to it you should have a file that looks something like this in the directory of wherever your script is that we're going to be working in so essentially this is going to want to be in the same uh what do you call it environment that we were working in before and you should just have like whatever file you're going to be using and then car.data okay so what I'm going to do actually, and I've already done it here, but I need you to add this line to the top of your data. So yours should look like this uh, and then just keep going. What I need you to do is click enter and do this. Now, essentially, the reason we're doing this is because we want to use pandas to read this data in and pandas reads the first line of our text file or our file as the uh, the attributes, right, or the labels for our or features, sorry, for our uh, data set. So essentially, I am just defining what these features are. And it's the exact same if you go on the website. Uh, I knew there was a reason I left it up. Uh, we go back here. You can see that the name of all of them are here. And yeah, so I just literally pick these names and just type them out and separated them by commas just to make our lives a bit easier. Now, yes, I could have done this from code, uh, but it's such an easy little like typing thing. So I just decided to do it in here. Okay, so once you do that, make sure you hit control S and save that file. And now we're going to go into uh, whatever file we're going to be working in. And we're just going to import a few dependencies. Okay, so obviously we need to import sklearn uh, from sklearn.utils. Uh, we're going to import shuffle. And then we're going to import sk or from sk learn dot neighbors import uh, k nearest neighbors classifier. Okay, and what else do we need? We need to import pandas as pd. So, and we need to import numpy as np. And is there anything else we need? Let me have a check here. We need to, oh, yes, one more here. I'm just going to copy it in because I don't want to type it out. We need to import linear model and pre-processing from sklearn. So now let me talk about essentially what we're going to do with this data. So actually first, let's just read it in using pandas, which we already know to do. So pd. Uh, we're going to do read CSV, even though it's not a CSV file, uh, because it's like the same thing separated by commas. And then we're just going to do car uh, dot data. Okay. And now just to ensure that this is working, we can just print the, our data head here and just make sure that everything looks fine. So let's just run this quickly. Uh, KNN, yes, tutorial file. No, I need to change this configuration. Sorry, one second. 
need to change this to working file. That's the one I'm working in right now. And we'll just hit run. Give it a second to load up our CSV file here. And there we go. Okay, so we can see we have buying, uh, this stands for maintenance, and then it goes through and you can see all of the different properties, and that is working fine for us. Okay, so now let's talk about what we need to do essentially. So remember I was saying in the last video not to use uh, features that have uh, non-numerical data. So for example, a feature that says like yes or no. Now the reason I said not to use that is because uh, we're doing computations on this data and we're performing operations, we're subtracting, adding, multiplying, whatever, and we can't do that with data that is not numerical. So that means we have to convert our non-numerical data into numerical data. So if we go in the car data set here, we can see that actually almost all of our data is non-numeric. So we actually have to do and um, what do you call it? Uh, SK Learn comes with something that can help us do this called pre-processing. So we have to convert something like V high and unACC and medium and low into integer values that correspond with like medium. So all of our mediums would be like a one, all of our lows would be a zero, all of our highs would be a two. And then same thing for like small V high, okay? No, we could do this and like it's very it's not easy but you can do it by just like reading in the file and manually going through and modifying elements but uh why would we do that when sklearn actually has something called pre-processing for us which can help us to do that so essentially i'm going to create a new object here i'm just going to call it pre-processing um dot what is it called here one second guys preprocessing dot label encoder okay so yeah that's what it is so essentially what this is going to do is it is going to take the labels that are here uh, and it's going to encode them into appropriate integer values now this is just the object that will do this for us we haven't done it yet obviously we need to pass our data frame so essentially what I'm going to do now is I'm actually going to create an array for each of our uh, columns okay or an array, actually we're gonna do a list. So buying is gonna have one, main to door, person's lug boot safety. Just because the way that this works is it needs to take a list and right now we have a pandas data frame. Now you might ask, well, why do we read it in with pandas? It's just cause it makes it a lot easier uh, than trying to read it in just using like for loops and open and all that. Um, but you'll, you'll see what and why I'm doing this in just a second. So let me just have a look at these attributes. We're gonna make a variable called buying. It's gonna be equal to, and this is gonna be weird, but just follow along with me, okay. List, and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna do data, le in here. Uh, and for that, we're going to do le dot, uh, what do you call it, fit transform and we're going to put this uh in here okay but i uh, sorry instead of data le i don't know why i did that uh, we're just going to pick buying as our uh, column okay so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to get the entire buying column so it's going to get all of these v highs all right it's going to turn them into a list and then it's going to transform those into a uh, appropriate integer values now i'm just going to copy this and paste this a few times because we're going to need to do this for actually all of our values except for one, I believe, because one of them is actually already numeric. So the next one is maintenance. So we're just going to do the exact same thing, and we're just going to replace this with maintenance. Uh, what's the one after this? We have doors. So I believe doors, actually, doors may be uh, non-numerical in some instances as well. So we'll just do this in case. Uh, what's the next one? We have persons and lug boot. Okay, so persons. And then in here, obviously, we need persons and then lug boot. And I think there's two more which would be the class and safety so essentially what we're going to do after we uh, finish this here is we're just going to add these back into like a main list uh, and you'll see what I'm doing in one second so safety and we need safety here as well and then we need finally the class which is what I can't actually name that class I'll just name it CLS and then here this will be named class okay now I'm just going to create a predict variable here just like I did before and I'm just gonna name this class just so this can save us a bit of time uh, when we're trying to create our like like splitting our data into things okay so essentially what we have now is this is actually going to uh, return to us a numpy array okay and uh, essentially we're just turning buying into all uh, integer values so actually I'll prove it to you I'll just show you what it looks like in case any of you are confused so just by printing out buying what we're doing now essentially is we're turning this or actually you'll, you'll just show you here quickly so we don't get confused 
Okay, so you can see buying is equal to like V high, V high, V high, whatever. So now you can see we go and it's turned that V high into a three value. And then you can see that other values in the list that were like low or whatever have been turned into one. So now that we have integers, we can actually work with this data. So essentially what I need to do now is I just need to actually create my X list and my Y list. Now, what I'm going to do is our X is obviously going to be our features. Well, Y is going to be our label. So Y is uh, easy enough. And it's actually we're just going to turn our, what do you call it, class into a list because this is what we're going to need to uh, use. And then X is we're going to actually use zip uh, to put all of our different, uh, what do you call it, features here into one list. So if you don't know what zip does, essentially it just creates a bunch of tuple objects with all of the different uh, values corresponding with the list we give it. So you'll see what I mean in a second. So anyways, I'm just going to type all these names. So by maintenance door, uh, what do you call it? Persons lug underscore boot and safety. Okay, so we should probably spell that correctly. Again, so essentially all this is doing is it's just going to convert all of this into one big list for us. And that's why we have this list conversion here. And this is just going to take our NumPy array and it's going to convert it into a list because that's what we need uh, when we're doing like a few different things. Okay. So now what we're going to do is we're going to do this uh, like split train test thing like we did before. So I'll just copy it in just because I've already kind of went through what this does. And uh, it's easy enough. So essentially, we're going to have our X train, X test, Y train, Y test. And then we're going to use the exact same thing. So sklearn.model selection dot trains test split uh, and then test size of 0 0.1. If you'd like a larger test size to test on more values, you could do 0 0.2, 0 0.3. But essentially, once you start going more than 0 0.2, uh, you're kind of sacrificing performance by not having as much data to train on. Okay. So now that we've done that, uh, let's just print out a few of our lists here just so we can see that everything's working. And then I think we're probably going to move into the uh, next video. So we'll just print X train and Y test and we can see that we're getting stuff that looks like this. And this will be data that is fine that we can pass into our classifier uh, to test on. So essentially that is all for this video. I just want to make sure we are getting our data in the correct form and kind of show you how we go about transforming all of our data that is non-numerical into numerical data. We can just use this fit underscore transform. Uh, we just have to make sure that we give it here, we give it a list value as opposed to like a NumPy array or a pandas data frame. So if you guys enjoyed the video, please make sure you leave a like and subscribe and I will see you again in the next one.